right, all right, and we are live. And we are live, 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 live. You know what? Let me put you guys here, because... Let me put you guys here. Because now I'm pissed. You see? You try to be nice, man. You try to be nice. You try to be nice. But when you're a nice guy, people tend to take advantage of you. Or think, yo, I was just chilling. Just chilling. Straight away for no. I just went a quick life on IG. Got out. I said, let me go live on YouTube instead because I can have the phone sideways, blah, 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 blah. But then I look at my message. And I see this BS message from Reef Nutrition. This is some BS, but... <laughs> only happens to Calypso. Only happens to Calypso. So... I want a giveaway. I want a giveaway from Reef Nutrition. Check this out. I want a giveaway from Reef Nutrition. That's a fifty dollar gift card. Fifty dollar gift card from Reef Nutrition. I thought nothing of it. Um, I received the message. Hey, congratulations! You won. Bye bye. Hit me a message. Blah 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 blah. And we <laughs> contact you as soon as possible or whenever we get a chance. So I go on their page and say, oh, thank you, you know, blah, 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 for, you know, doing the giveaway. <laughs> you see, sometimes you can be nice, man. Sometimes you can be nice. My name is right there in the list of the winners. My name is right there. And this asshole, whoever is typing behind that computer, say, oh, let me let me check your entry to see if you really entry or it was because somebody tagged you in. Mother flower, if somebody tagged me in, I'm not going to be in the entry. It's only the people that put, oh, oh. You see, I get... Uh, this freaking hobby, man, <laughs> for a $50 gift card. You know what? They can grab that $50 gift card, wipe their butt with it, smell it, eat it. It's crazy, bro. This is crazy. I, yeah, I don't need that shit, but I receive a message. Oh, congratulations, you won a $50 gift card from Reef Nutrition, blah, 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 blah. And I got the proof. Um, I don't know. I even sent a screenshot. Look, my name is right there. Oh, you was probably tagging. Listen, bro. Listen, my guy. Give it to whoever you feel like they should win it. Just give it to your friend, to your friend right next to you right now. Just give it to him. He probably needs it more than I do. It's crazy, bro. This is crazy. Why you do a giveaway? It's like it's like giving um a candy to a baby with the, with the wrap. The baby go through a hard time of taking the wrap, and then you take the candy away. <laughs> Uh, this is crazy, bro. But you know what? You guys know me. I don't need this shit. They could <clears throat> through the air. They could keep it. I don't need it. I'd be doing fine without it. The only thing I use from them is oyster fees, and I don't mind buying it. This is crazy. I don't know. It makes you wait waste your time. Waste your freaking time. Yeah, it's all good drama. You know how it is. I'm used to all this BS and this hobby. Like, when you think you've seen it all, there comes more stuff. And whatever. 
they lucky I'm not in, in <clears throat> I'm not in the, whatchamacallit, I'm not in the mentally stage of making a, putting them on blast on, on IG. <laughs> but it's crazy, it's crazy. Rondo, what's going on, brother? Fletcher Wrights, Chip the Reefer, Stray Reefer, Drama D. Who else is in the building? C Sense Aquatic, what's going on? But yeah, guys, yo, I've been working on the chiller. Um, I know I gotta make a detailed video, it's something simple, man. It's nothing. Sorry, it's nothing that you guys, you know, whoever want to try it. Um, let me turn on the lights so I can show you guys what I end up doing with that joint. So, it's something that you guys can do yourself. Simple, simple. You know, some people, I showed it yesterday, I think it was, I uh, no. Not yesterday, day before yesterday, and Reef Girl live stream. I showed off on her stream, and some people was wary about the lights being on this little fridge to be used as a as a chiller. Um, I don't think it's gonna be on all the time. I'm gonna have it connected to my uh, thermal controller. And I got a cooling side and a heating side, so it's going to be connected to the cooling side. So whenever in summer, when it's really, really hot, um, once the pro reads that the water is too hot, it's going to turn on the fridge. The fridge only, not the pump. The pump is going to be running at all time inside the fridge. And... You know, like, there's no need for, for me to connect the pump to the thermometer, um, to the controller. So, I just got to make, like, a little thing so I can just pick it up a little bit. It's about, I would say, about 12 feet, 13 feet of hose in there. So, but what I did today, I just stuffed that joint with a lot of aluminum in there. Ooh, that joint's going to get cold in there. So, reason why, uh, you know, it just so uh, it can get colder in there. And, and keep the cold a little longer. You know, so I try to wrap as much as I can the hose. Um, you know, I could find something made out of, out of titanium or whatever, but that's too much. That's too much. This is something temporary. Then you got to have it made with the right connection so it could work for you. So I just say, you know, a rubber hose will do the job. Just stuff it all with aluminum just to, you know, keep the coal in there. And if worst case scenario. I need to make it colder, get the middle piece out, because everything is removable out of there, and just tough it with like two, three bottles of water, water bottles um, frozen from the fridge, and, you know, give it a little push, because I know once it gets cold in there, remember, it's a little fridge, so all this is got insulation just to stay cold. So I think it it will do the job, man. I can't wait to have it in use. So you get a maxi jet twelve hundred, you're good to go, man. You're good to go. I got you, drama.
So, you know, like I said, once water gets hot, that's when the fridge is going to come on. So, I, th- I think it's going to work. I think it's going to work good. I'm probably going to buy an extra one just to do like a, you know, demonstration for some people who might want to try it. And I think it's going to work, you know. I know if you have a big tank, that's a different story. Um, but if you have a 40 gallon, I would say even up to 60, 70, you pushing it with something little like this. But will it do the job? Yeah, I think. I think it will. I mean, I got that water cold down to 67.4, I think it was, something like that. So imagine. And and one of the reasons why I'm doing it, because, like I said, I got the stain cover now, even though I can remove every piece of um, cover I got on this tank. That's removable. That corner one's removable. This one's removable. I could take this thing apart completely without using no tools. <laughs> they just squish it in there. So Yeah, I think I think it will it will work. Can't wait for some hot weather and put it to the test. Put it to the test. True. Yeah. That could work too, drum. Yeah. And one thing I did, you know, I, I added these things here, but you really don't need that, man. If you buy a, like, I got a, a 20, 20 feet, all, all this, these two pieces here with whatever I got in there is 20 feet. So you just got to. Do a line, like the distance of the tank, and just make a hole big enough that you can squeeze the holes in there. Just coil it in there, boom, 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 and then just take it out. And you don't need to, you know, be so technical like I did here. So, yeah. That's why I want to... Probably, you know, like I said, it's twenty five dollars for that little fridge. The hose is ten dollars. Maxi jet, depending where you buy it, is like twenty dollars, twenty five. Uh, aluminum foil, hmm, that's cheap. So, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Can't wait. I can't wait. This joint also is super silent. You can't hear nothing. You don't you won't hear useless reefer. Yeah. <laughs> a DIY chiller, man. Probably make a little video about it. Um, you know, just it's simple, bro. It's super simple. I've been sitting on this joint since Last summer, the end of last summer, I bought it. When I moved the tanks, matter of fact, out of here. Um, I started thinking about it. Okay, let me see. Trying to find uh, a hose that will work for it. Or something. Some type of coil. You know, let's go for salt water. But I couldn't find nothing. I said, you know what? They just stuff it over aluminum. And I think it will do the job. I th- I think it will, man. I I'm like two hundred percent. It's gonna do something. Two hundred percent. It's gonna work. Just hook it up to the um thermostat or the thermal controller, and we're good. Some water gets hot. The fridge will turn on. And 
And you could put ice in there if you want, you know, just to make it even colder instead of aluminum. That way, because when it's hot outside and, and, and you dump bottles of water or ice um, in the tank, that drink will melt in no time. So at least in there, it will stay cold longer or frozen longer than, yeah, I think it will work. Yeah, and, and, and now that, that I thought about that one, now that I thought about that one, it's another way to make it chiller without needing a motor. You just got a cooler. You got a cooler, run a hose from one end, just dump my hose in there. I can get a cooler like this height, filled with ice completely. You know that joint get freezing cold in there. Just... Boom, put it there, max it yet, the hose going in there, all crazy. Once that water, you know, started melting, it's, it's cold. Um, it, will, it will do the job, but the only difference, um, it's just going to continue getting cold and cold. Not like with, with the temperature controller that you could control. If it gets too cold, then it will turn off. Hello, Riff Girl. <laughs> Nice, nice, nice. Can't wait to see what you come up with. So I'm trying to, all I'm trying to do is prepare for, for the summer, man. Uh, this winter was bad. I imagine summer. I imagine summer is going to be crazy hot. Crazy, crazy hot. I know, I know. Yeah. It's, it's many ways. There's many ways that we could find a way to cool down the tank without doing it the, the regular way we usually do it is like put them frozen bottles of water inside the tank. It got to be a simpler way without spending that much money in a chiller and without wasting so much water bottles. Um, it, it has to be a way. I'm going to try the other way too and see you know, how much ice you need. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Last summer, last summer here, we couldn't have a nice sea uh, uh, in the right here in the living room because we didn't know what was going on with the light situation. Since I had a bat outlet, um, all the you know equipment from the tank connected to that same bat outlet, uh, <laughs> it was an accident waiting to happen. So we didn't dare to put no AC here, and. Then we find out the uh, the landlord we had before. He was basically using some of the light that he's supposed to pay. It was connected with with our light, so our light bill was coming ridiculous high. So we're still dealing with that, like bringing that bill down. So this year you know if if all that gets taken care of then we put an ac and i think it'd be okay um the thing is in the mornings the sun come up that way well like that corner right there boop, hit the windows all this here gets all the heat so it's a little bit it's a little bit in the morning is the you know, even though it's a bunch of trees in front of the house, but still, when it's hot, it's hot. So, when it's hot, it's hot. But we'll see, man. Let's keep our finger crossed that I think that little baby right there is going to do the job.
And like I say, I mean, maybe that and one fan instead of having 10 fans around the, <laughs> around the freaking tank. Oh, jeez. I have fans down here. I have, like, two down here, one in the tank. No, man. I'm not trying to have it. Not this time. I, if I put a fan probably over there just to blow the heat of the lights away from the tank. Because even though those, like, it has the, their own cooling fans, that joint don't work. I got them higher than before. I think they're about almost 20 inches from the water. And you can still feel the heat in the surface of, of the tank. I can still feel the heat with no problem. So at least probably put one fan there, blowing all the heat away. And the, the pro chiller. <laughs> and we good. And we good, we good. You guys want to see a new coral? I'm going to show you guys a new coral. It's still not out in the in the ocean or in the market. It's a white coral. Look at that. Beautiful white coral. Look at that. Look at those polyp extension. You see? Strictly white. <laughs> uh, that's a piece of Marcetosa. It's crazy, right? That coral, all right, which is the same one here, which is that one, which is the other piece over there. So, right, that piece and that piece was the mallet colony that I had right in the middle right here. But for some reason, half of the colony always wanted to die. So this piece came from the side that didn't, wasn't dying at all. And that piece also, I tracked it from this piece because this piece, well, this piece was completely orange too, but it decided to die and that one's still alive. So I don't know what's wrong with that Satoza. Always want to die. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with it, but I left it here. That's calcium. So, yeah, I had a couple losses, man. Couple, couple losses. My Ghanis, man. All I got is two Ghanis. No color Ghanis. The nice looking one. There's one there. So, hopefully, those few heads come back around. I always have high hopes for corals that want to die. And what else? What else? This one wanted to go bye bye. It has a little piece, but it's been down that route before. So it has a little skeleton showing right there. But it stopped, so that's a good sign. Insane Reefer! Oh, we got the Maximum Crew. Reefing with. Oh! So, my brother. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, I was just talking about that part. Listen, for the connection here, don't get nothing. Just um, just squish the, the holes to here and just leave equal size in both ends. You know, once you get it in there, boom, 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 then get it out through here. Just, you know, enough space, or you could just drill the top. And the reason why I did it in the front is because the, the back is aluminum. So this is where the motor ends with the little um the sink the aluminum sink so it ends right here and then this part right here that's where the aluminum is and i think it gets through here like four inches from here and then another four inches from here so yeah, so I, I just stuff it up with more with more aluminum in there. <laughs> uh, hey, but I think it will work, brother. I think it will work. But 
that's why I did it in this size, and the slump is in this size, so I just got to pick it up a little bit, throw the pump in there, a Maxi Jet 1200, this is the um, half inch, something like that, 5.8, I think it was, size for the Maxi Jet, so it could be nice and tight. Let's wait for some hot weather. It's gonna be good. That's gonna that's gonna do the job. But yeah, so um, but yeah, lost couple of corals in the move, man. Couple of them, couple of them change color a little bit. Like this Monty, you guys can see some darker spots than other. Stylos always like that with the middle part or white white polyps because they don't get no light. All these zoas are pissed off because I got baby aptasia all over the place. I gotta get some virgin odor bricks. What else? What else wasn't doing that good? That hammer right there was dying, but it stopped. I changed salt too. I went back to to cheap salt. It's, that's why you guys call it the instant ocean. Well, Reef Crystal. All I'm trying to do with this low nitrates whenever the time, or just do water changes. You know, replace whatever whatever the water needs. Which I don't know what it, what is that, but hey, the water changes makes the job easy. And make corals happy. That's what we're doing, right? Water changes. I got, I got my, my Ellie Tech brother. The same thing. It's the same thing. Got the cooling, the heating. It's a good brand. Really, really good brand. I haven't had no problems with it. Even though the first day I connected it, I um I got the pro side wet. It's just like the ember. You could swap the pro. It's a cool one. Ellie Tech. Check it out. Check it out. It just worked good the same way. But I like this one. I just don't like the green on the ember. It's not that I hate green, but we got green in the tank. Then green in the sun. Nope, nope, nope. Fish tropical. Yep, I bought the big bucket. I got the bucket for I think it was fifty six dollars. They got it. They had it in the I guess the wrong price. Oh, they had it as 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 the same as the um instant ocean one. So I said, you know what? I'm going to get it, so I got a big bucket, and I got salt for days, so I'm getting, I'm making water right now, so I can make a water change, um, hey, I'm supposed to do a giveaway, man, I always been saying that, and people are going to hate me, guys, I always say I'm going to do it, I never do it, but probably I'm going to do two, for the price of one. Yeah, I gotta do, I gotta do one, cause um, when I did the move, some of the algae died a little bit, not, not so much like, like last time, last time, I had a bunch of algae in the refugium dying, and I left it there instead of taking it out. So, um, the parameters went crazy, especially phosphates. But this time, the move went really smooth, so it wasn't much to die. It's this one, I guess, the dragon breath is kind of weak. And one side, but it will come back. It will 
comeback. This one is doing really good. There's a lot of craters in there. A lot. I have a hermit crab in there too. He's the one that keeps everything clean. He's huge. I got a bunch of those um, brittle. Oh no, not brittle stars. Yeah, brittle stars, right? I got a bunch of those in there. Pods, different pods everywhere. You can just see them there on the side. There's one right there, right in the front of my finger, right there. That mangrove, I always keep them there. <laughs> Uh, a lot of nice sponges in there too. I got yellow, reds, different, different multi-color sponges. They everywhere. Sponges are everywhere. I got a question for all you guys. Will sponges will kill corals? Uh, if I overgrow the coral? I think so, right? Oh, well, the coral killed the sponge. Oh, look who's there. Look who's there. Watch, where's this fish? Oh, come on, so many. Look, look at my little guy. Look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. Hey, move, not you. Look at that beauty. He's an ugly, cute fish. Where'd he go? Oh, right here. He's swimming. He's swimming. You barely see this barnacle blending. Oh. He's probably hungry. That's the only time that you see him out when he's hungry. So, let's throw some pellets. I know he's been getting bullied. Because I removed the coral. Let's see he eats. Hmm. He's not even eating. Come on, puppy. Uh, I know his problem. He's getting bullied. Alright. I can solve that problem real quick. Watch this. You wanna see him happy? Let's see. I'm gonna put you guys right there. Watch out for me. Let me remove the top. I'm gonna bring his home back. I think that's his problem. I'm gonna grab the Monty. Let me move this Monty out of here. Hold on, Bobby. I got you. I got you. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to move your home. It just looked good in the DNT. But I got you. I bring it back. I'm going to put it back where it belongs. Just stay around. Don't go far. Stay right there. You want to see something? Watch. I'm going to bring his home back. He loved the green Monty. Plenty Monty because his home is in there in the bottom of it. I got it in my hands. Watch. Let me see where his okay. If you see it, yep, that's what he's looking for. That's exactly what he's looking for. There you go, Bubba. Your home. Let's see. Let's see he goes to it. Right here, look. Right there. Your home is back. Now you made the DMT look ugly. You better go in there, boy. If you don't go in there, now I will take your home away. What he's looking at, oh, he went to the back. <laughs> he tricked me. So I put his home back. He loved this Monty right here. So let's see if he comes back to his home. I don't know where he's staying at now. I know he moved. He went to the back. He been hanging over here in the back. You know what? Let me get some brancher. He's probably want some brancher and he don't want 
You don't want those nasty pellets. Give me one second, my guys. Oops. see where his where's the hole that he used to go into let me clean this mess I always it was a good thing that I did this little table at the end of the tank but it was a bad thing too because I'd be putting a lot of stuff on top of it you know stay clean it's always the Tubings to do testing and all the goody stuff of it. Testing all the glass bottles, glasses, earphone holders. All right. My bro, where are you? Where did you go? I wonder where he be hiding at. There's only one way to find out. Top side view. Trying to see. Come on, Monty. Uh, I remember breaking that coral. I'm going to see if I can find the little hole where he used to be at. Okay, I see it. You haven't gone in yet, not yet. But let's turn off the flow and let's do some brine train fitting, feeding, feeding, feeding. All right, flow off one, flow two, and flow number three. The main display. Let's see if we can see where he at. So the blue lights are on now. Look at the top side view, man. I love looking at the tank from the top. Look at those blue hornets. They all over the place. I got you insane. They still there. I got to frack some. Oh, I'm going to end up putting sand in the tank. I already made the decision. Sad thing that I got to. Scrape all that out of here. I gotta scrape this other green one down here. They grow nicely, those zoas. Um, sad, but I gotta put sand in the tank. I have to. I have to, I have to, I have to. Can't see this tank no more without seeing. I'm gonna do it slowly. But I gotta put sand in my tank. Lightning strike, where are you? Where are you? Yeah. Oh, I saw him. He's back there. Oh, I see. He's getting bothered by the um, Goby. By the cleaner Goby. My hybrid. My shark. <laughs> That's my shark. Right there. My little guy. I'm going to get a bunch of those. I love those little fish. Oh, guys, there's something interesting going on in my tank, too. I was doing some research because I got a male mandarin, right? I got a male mandarin. And I also have a male carpenter ass, right? 
So I started doing some research and why. Because you guys know the males had the long, big fin on top. But I noticed that my mandarin and the wrasse lost their long fin. So you know what I think is going on? They turn into females. So they don't have no females in the tank. I was doing some reading, and I think that's exactly what's going on. They're going to end up turning to females because the body shape is changing a little bit. The coloration, especially on Barras, is changing a little bit. Um, but he no longer had that long, nice, long fin and the... Uh, and the colors he used to have when I first got him. So he's looking more like a female now than a male. So I think that's exactly what's going on. They probably see, they probably saying, you know what? You gotta make more babies, so I better turn into a female and see if we could get some males around here. I think that's exactly what's going on. I think. I will I will say that let's give it like a couple more months and see if they turn completely into females. If that happens, then I guess we got to get fished by pairs if you want to stay with a male. That'll be interesting to see if they turn to females. Look at, look at that acro, bro. Look at that acro. Are we seeing some pink? Yes, we are. Look at that. So pinkish. So pinkish. Looking nice. Look at this two. Look at this two fighting. Stop it. Behave. The damn soul. <laughs> That's definitely a male and a female. This other one is getting some nice colors too. This one right here. So I guess I'm doing something good. You see how fast this rock got some purple coralline growing on it? In less than three months, it's full of coralline algae. That is insane reefer. You see, I've been doing insane reefing over here. I couldn't believe it. Look, less than three months. A rock full of coralline algae when it was completely white. It's almost looks similar to the other one. So, yeah, this one got a little bit dark in the middle, the Monty. That's the only sad part because I was thinking to put that one in, in the bottom too. And let her and cross to the bottom, but no, I need sand in this tank, man. I got, I, I need to see that natural look. Can continue seeing this tank looking fugly like this. It will give the tank a total different look. Yeah, look at that view. Yummy, yummy. This tank came a long way. I love this one. This is one of my favorite ones here. One of my favorite ones. That one too, even though I don't have no nice colors. Like I always say, man, as long as I can grow them and they stay alive, that's all that matter. That's all that matters. It's a blessing just to keep something alive. The stylo, remember when I fragged the stylo? That's the other, that's the piece that I fragged. Look how big it got already. That was the little branch. That it was right, uh, excuse me, right there. Touching the Monty cap right there. Look how big it got now. This one always has some nice pink on it. 
but I don't want to go. I had a little nub that started growing on the side, but oh, which shy. That's where I had that Walt Disney. I got the blood red Digitata, the green Digitata, the bubble going forest fire Digitata. That straight, uh, straight reefer stag, beautiful piece. That one is growing, growing, and growing. Yeah. But yeah, guys, so. Riff Nutrition Player Boy, man. That's messed up. <laughs> I laugh about it because it only happens to me. It's still a good product. <laughs> Oh, hold on, let me feed this, take advantage now that I'm here and, and see my baby right here. Started with one head, now I got, it was five, but one decided to go back inside the skin. Look who's here, there's somebody here, this is my, my pom pom crab. He's still alive. He's in there. I don't know if you guys can see him. There you go. Eat, eat, baby. Eat, eat. But yeah, my my pom pom crab still alive. Hold on, let me turn on the power head before my wrath decide to go inside and clean them. He likes to do that when they off. So, now they back on. That was the wrong move that I did there. Gluing a, a coral. Oh, nah, bro. The, they sent me a message. Um, I, 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 they, they announced a giveaway, like everybody else, and I enter. Um, they sent me a message saying that I'm one of the lucky winners, lucky winners, and and I reply back. I mean, hello, you just tagged me the <laughs> I won, and you can see in their page when it said congratulations, you can see my name and the winners. Um, then I messaged them and they came out with some BS. Um about uh, something, something, and then I, I took a screenshot and sent it, and I said, listen, my name is right there, so boom, oh, I got a check, and you probably was tagged in, you probably didn't enter, you probably was tagged in, my bro, if I was tagged in, of course, but if, if I won anyway, then it really doesn't matter, bro. It really doesn't matter. I know I did enter, so whatever. So I told the guy, you know, just give it to your friend next to you right now, you know. To whoever you got next to you, just give it to him. So, it'd be a stuff that they'll always go on in this hobby. Right. How you going <laughs> to tag me? saying that I'm a winner, and then I message you, claiming the prize, and you going in circles, like, I don't get it, and it was a $50 gift card, you know, but it is what it is, bro, it's not like I ain't dying for $50, but I don't know, I guess the giveaway pranks only happened to me. I'm not doing good though. I ain't gonna go crazy. I just told him, I said, listen, just don't worry about it. If you, if you think I didn't win, because supposedly I got tagged in, then don't worry about it. Just give it to whoever you feel should win it. So. Well, I'm pretty sure if you put my name in a. <laughs> in a raffle, or in a wheel, or whatever, however you pick the names, it was because my name entered 
in the giveaway, not because I was tagged in. Because if it was because I was tagged in, I'm pretty sure you got like hundreds and hundreds of people that tagged in. Like, oh my God, I, I like you can count the how many people. Let's say you got to tag two reefer friends. So I imagine how many people enter. You know what I'm saying? So I got put in there accidentally. Come on, man. <laughs> I wasn't born yesterday, but it, it is what it is. It is what it is. I'm not sweating it. It just BS that goes on in this hobby. I was so happy. <laughs> I was so happy yesterday. I said, okay, so I'm going to get my my phyto fees and my oyster fees, and we call it a day. We're good. That's $36. They can have the rest. Get the other $14 to somebody else. That's me thinking over here, you know, and look how they play me. Well, you could go and see. I, my name is in there. So, that's all right. No biggie. No biggie. Uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to spend this year with without drama, without negativity, without uh, bad vibe. I don't want, uh, you know, if I gotta talk about any subject, I'm gonna talk about it. There's nothing wrong about talking about it. But me bringing drama or creating drama or making it bigger than what it is, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I don't got time for that. You know, last year was that coral, then the, all that BS, and no, oh, man, man, I don't got time for that. The year before was Billy Pipe situation, and, and the list go on and on. And I'm not trying this year to go through none of that. We hear because of reefing, not because of drama. You know, and that's the same thing. When I when when I go to different live streams, the minute the live stream, you know, turn negative, I just move away. I just move away and and just be out. That's why I wasn't even on that much. Because even though I didn't have the tanks here, I had intimate here, so I could be on and. You know, because it's not all about showing the tank all the time. So, but I just decided to stay away just to see things in the distance, see what's why, who's who, and what's going on. So... Yeah, Reef Nutrition, brother. Reef Nutrition. Yeah, listen, I mean, I'm not, like I said, I'm not, I'm not sweating it, you know? It is what it is. Maybe, let's say, let's just say my name got put on that will <laughs> um, by accident. They saw my lovely name, they liked it, and they typed it. So, and, but whatever, it is, it is what it is. I'm still going to buy their product. I still like it, you know, and I don't change nothing. I don't buy straight from them. I go to my LFS and buy it from them, so. Well, yeah, so the tank look like it's, it's getting stable now. That's a good thing. I've been feeding, not trying to go so crazy in the feeding, even though I know my nitrates was at zero when I first moved the tank. Now they detectable. They they over 5 ppm, so that's a good thing. So I did run a test yesterday with the new nitrate checker. It's easy to use, man. I don't know why people... People just want things too simple, you know, and 
and reefing is not simple. It's not is as easy as you can make it to be. You know what I'm saying? So if you lazy, then this is not for you. This is not for lazy people. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, like like I don't know why people find it so com so so complicated, the nitrate um hand trigger. Um I did it twice and twice read more than five ppm. Call it a day. I checked with the other with the color one, right on. It was a little bit higher, so it was detectable. So that's what I wanted to see that at least it was detectable. And the minute I saw it in the test, a coral stop stopped dying. So same thing with the algae stopped dying, all that. I, I can see this changes right away when when I see things in the tank not doing so good. I check the levels if one is off and and I correct it, it is like you see it right away. The I you know, if anything is dying we'll stop it will stop dying. So <laughs> I like I, I would love to breed anything, man. Like keeping coral is like breeding coral, you could say. Um, because we propagate them and you start with a little tiny frag and then you had this massive coral. I mean, I could show you some the started like a tiny smaller than that frag right there. If you look at this tile, that monte was that big. Um, this one here was that big when I got it. That joint there was one head. So it's things that like, you'd be amazed how you see them evolve and just become a bigger colony. Uh, what else I could show you? It was small. Well... The purple stylo, it was one little nub like that and just grew to be all this. Definitely, bro. That's how, I mean, as long as you don't change, brother, you don't change nothing that you're doing, we all be good, man. <clears throat> just keep doing what you're doing and, you know, uh, make changes as the tank keep growing and getting bigger and corals get bigger. And that's not the only, I even bought that nitrate test kit just to see a number or at least see it over the number, you know, at least seeing them. Cause with the color one, yeah, you can see the color change, but you don't get a reading. And, I want to see how how high at least, even though it is over five, and I don't know. Okay, where is it? Five, ten, twenty, fifty, sixty. Um, but if I keep feeding what I'm feeding now, I know it's gonna stay in that range. Things look happy. Then let's continue doing what I'm doing. <laughs> Bro, just don't change what you're doing, bro. Keep doing it and everything be okay. Hey, like I said, I'm about to add sin in this tank. I'm not going to do it all at once. Knowing myself, I probably will do it all at once. But I'm going to try to take my time and slowly put the sin in the tank. But look at the difference, man. Look at this tank plain and look at this one. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah, every tank behaves different, man. Um, my tank do good with aminos. Um, you know, when the nature is, is I guess it, you just got to find the right balance. The right balance and you know know when 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 to add them to the tank, not add daily. You know, skip days once a week. 
that's what I'm doing now. I'm not doing it like, I mean, yeah, when I moved the tank and nature was a zero, I started feeding a little heavier two, three days in a row, then stop one day. Boom. If I got a little bit left over, I just dump it in there. Instead of doing 20 mil like I do, I did 10. The days that I, I feel like, okay, I'm pushing it too much. So, but once everything is just like right now, I'm seeing things different. So that's that's a good sign. Yeah, trust um the SPS. Yes, they they are more challenging. I mean, they, I will say they're more challenging, you know, when it comes to the water um, chemistry. Now, like you got to have the right lighting, the right flow. Not not the right flow. I will say more the right lighting because flow depend, you know, some light high flow, some light medium flow, some light low flow. But the SPS mostly is high flow. Um. And once you cover the light area and then do the flow and your water levels are where they need to be, you'll be good. Because, like, I didn't, I didn't think. I, I tried SPS in the past, and every time I tried, they, 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 they were dying. You know, they stay alive. They never grew, not even nothing. They just, I glue them. They sit there. They happy one day. The next day or the next week, they're gone. But the minute I started using cut water, which is a two-part dosing in powder solution, you mix it with our water, you know, everything was good. Everything being good, keep my alkalinity. And the, mostly what I test is alkalinity. Uh, I check salinity when I do a water change. Uh, make sure the pH kind of match, not not go crazy, but mostly alkalinity. Make sure the salinity is good and alkalinity. There's no big changes on that. And as long as you keep that level where it needs to be, you know, you'll be good. You can grow anything, basically. Because ever since I started using cut water, that's all I use. I don't do... Um, like two part dosing in liquid form, you know, they just everything in one bucket and I use it as my RO water. And ever since I started using cold water, that's the miracle powder because <laughs> I became a better reefer. But SPS, they are definitely a little bit more challenging, you know. I, I, hands down, they are a little bit more challenging. But it's possible to keep them. Because a lot of, a lot of the ones I got, I, I started with a little tiny frag. Um, show you again. That little nub right there with the green polyps. It was, that's, let's say, I got it like that, and that's how it is now. One of my favorite ones in the tank. I never thought I could have grown that big. Same thing with this. When I got this one, it was only one one of those sticks. It's not doing super great, but it's growing. It's there. You know, that's all that matters. But it, it grew that big. Like, it was that big. And always had good polyp extension. Right now, it's kind of pissed. So I don't know if it's going downhill, it's going to end up dying or what, but it's still there. Um, what else? That was small and like this one here, this is basically the mother colony and some of my boys got a frag of that. I got one little frag right there, another one over there. When I moved the tanks, they broke apart and... I just glue them everywhere. I got another little piece right there. Uh, 
Yeah, and, and you got to play with them too, you know. Don't keep them in one spot. If you don't see it that happy, just move it move it somewhere else and see how it's doing that other, you know, in the new spot before you finally make a decision, okay, I want this one here, you know, because even though you like it here, but the coral might not like it here, you know, so you got to do everything possible for that coral. Uh, let me know who's beating you up, puppy. Look at that fish. That fish is amazing. I know he's getting beat up by somebody. I'm trying to see who's beating you up. You still hungry? I got more. All right, I'm gonna throw some more food for you guys. Right, lightning strike. Hit it. You don't want food? Come on, eat. Gotta get it. Gotta get it. I guess he found a new home. Yeah, yeah, I, I love the storm clown. Those are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. When you say beautiful clownfish, those are one of the most beautiful clownfish out there. The storm clowns. The black storm, that's the one I like. They're expensive, man. These fish are getting too expensive. Pretty soon, is, I'm selling that yellow tank. Since everybody says these more expensive now, some people is 200 300 400 My boy sold one in a store for $500. Say, that gee, that's crazy. Where mine go? Where are you? Did you jump and I didn't see you? Right there. I had this guy since he was a baby. Nice. Yeah, Picassos are nice too. I like the pattern. I, I love the pattern of the Picassos. The lights is gonna shut down a bit, I think. What time is it? I don't even know what time it's at right now. All right, let me lower the light and the DMT. Where is the controller? Right here. So, boom, 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 put the blues. That's it, completely blue. Yeah, I got the light. In the living room, all this stuff. One second. Yeah, I got two lenses on in here. Oh, geez. But yeah, so. Yeah, I was just showing people my chiller. Um, so if y'all didn't see it, I'm gonna make a video about it. So I'll give you guys an idea on it for um, people coming in the channel that haven't seen my work. So I'm gonna make a video about it. I'm probably gonna purchase another one, do it differently, do the top side and see. Since this curves a lot, I could probably have it. Let me see. Oh, hold on. I could still put it in there with no problem. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, indeed. Look at that. Why do you have to put it in nothing? No, a little, probably do a little, a little something so it'll be, even though it's tight, it's super tight. But just to be safe, since I don't have that much grip in there, 
Um, I think it'll be good. Oh, battery's dying too. Thank you, Reef Girl. Yeah, it was uh, no, and and when I first started, um, yeah, I thought about the chiller, of course, but I'm gonna buy another one still because the bottle of Resi they fit in here perfect, 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 perfect. The the one for the minnows. So that's another invention that I'm gonna do for you know to those aminos and keep them nice and fresh. So I started drilling it here. Yeah, I think it had another hole somewhere, but they fit in there no problem. So if I could probably find a different way, I uh. It's, it's a way to do it. I know it's, it's a way to do it. And you could fit about six bottles in there, if I'm not mistaken. This one is Free Diary, <laughs> I think. But Walmart, um, I don't know if you guys, you guys, I'm, uh, I'm not even going to say it because Walmart is everywhere. But. And they got different nice colors too. So I think that's that's the brand right here, Freaky Diary. I get you I get you the the right name and or brand. But they really cheap, they're like twenty five dollars, uh twenty four, eighteen dollars. You find different size for different um for the quantity of sodas that you can have in there or whatever you want to cool in there. Yeah, free ear, but it has to eat at the end. So air e, airy, dairy, frigid. I don't know. Look at the name right there. <laughs> but yeah, that's the name. Free dear. <clears throat> but the bottles fit in there perfect. So that when when I got it and I I didn't have the the idea is complete for the for the chiller. I say, you know what, I could probably get away with the, you know, doing the minos and all that. But since I was trying to minimize having too many things connecting the tank, especially over there in the basement, since I was running electrical heaters and all that, I didn't want to take the risk of catching the house on fire because I had too many things connected. But Definitely this weekend, I'm going to work on that one. And like I say, the the tops of the resi bottles, you know, you got that little tubing. And I'm pretty sure if you do a connection here to connect those tubing or even just a hole so you can slide it through, it'd be all good. Yeah, yeah. It's a good brand. That's what I'm saying. I don't think it will die that easy. It's a good brand, so... And it do get cold in there. That's how I used to get my sodas cold. <laughs> I used to for a while. You could it, it comes with two cables, one for the car and one for the house. So you could have it in the car. If you want to use it for whatever reason, keep in summer. You want to keep the water a little bit cool in the tank and you could use it like that too. There's so many things you could do with this little things. Instead of buying those, that they sell on Amazon, even though they cheap, but and they may supposedly for that reason, but they got a lot of bad reviews. Take care, JT. Yeah, I'm about to I'm about to shut it down now because my phone is about to die, and I don't want to leave nobody hanging like I did Saturday in the Rift live stream. Um, no, I didn't fall asleep. <laughs> I didn't fall asleep. Um. I had to do something, so I stepped out of the house, and by the time I came back, phone was dead, live stream was over, so, <laughs> yeah, 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 check it out, man, check it out, you you won't regret to have a little idea like that for the dose scene and all that, it, it, don't, it don't pull that much power, I mean, 
but I show you. I, I I send you an email when I get it, and I send you an email how how I was doing it uh, for the for the aminos, and I think it will work. At the beginning, I was gonna put it here, but since I use it now for the refugium, and then I was gonna put it next to the ATO, but since I got the ATO and controllers in there, eh, there's so many ways that I could do it here, but I do it later. But thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate it. There was a random stream today, so it's just been a minute since I haven't been around. So I just want to share a lot of things with you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I see you guys in the next one. Your boy Kalis is up. See you guys. No, I don't want to stop. <laughs> Why well, I don't want to stop. There we go. All right, guys, see you.